Jalen Williams of the Oklahoma City Thunder is by far the best third option in the NBA. That's if you even consider him a third option. Chet Holmgren has gotten a lot of talk this season, but if you go strictly by points per game, Jalen Williams actually has edged out Chet Holmgren. Recently, Jalen is now putting up 18.2 points per game against Chet Holmgren's 17.9 points per game. But only a person who doesn't love basketball would sit here and stack up the number two and the number three player on a team against each other. So that's not really what I'm going to do. But what I am going to do is just focus on how good Jalen Williams is. Whether you consider him your second or third option, it really doesn't matter. The point is, this guy is a super efficient scorer. He's a great passer. He defends. He scores at all three levels. He's a strong finisher around the rim, and he's very efficient. So for Oklahoma City, this looks like a dream big three between Shea Gilgis Alexander, Chet Holmgren, and Javid Williams. And then you have the addition of all of these shooters around them. So let's start off with Javid Williams' simple numbers this season. He's putting up over 18 points a game, but he's shooting 44.2% from three. To give you an idea, Steph Curry's career percentage from three is 43%. Jalen is shooting just under 13 shots a night, and he's shooting 54% from the field. Shea Gilgis Alexander shoots 55% from the field. Chet Holmgren also shoots 55% from the field. Could you please, could you please, please, please go back in history and find me a big three that combines for nearly 70 points a night? shooting all above 54% from the field. I don't think that has ever existed, and that's why, quite simply, this is the best offensive big three in the league, hangs down. And the best part about this Jalen Williams situation is simply the improvement that we've seen from last season where he put up 14 points a game. And if you really watched the Thunder during his rookie season that year, you would notice towards the end of the season, he really found his game, was doing a lot more. He was handling the ball more. He was facilitating. He was scoring at all three levels. But to end the season, he actually shot 35% from deep on the season. He did shoot above 50% from the field at 52%, which is scary for a rookie. That's what Chet is now doing at 55%. But this season, it's mainly the three-pointers. That's what's a freaky improvement from 35 to 44 that really just opens things up for the entire thunder team who also have shooters like isaiah joe casein wallace chet holmgren lou dort in the mix so they kind of are all able to feed off each other with the gravity that all of them provide the floor is so big they play this five out offense with everybody on the perimeter that it just creates so much space for a scorer like Chet, Shea, or Jalen. And the best part about all three of them is they're all capable of taking defenders off of the dribble and go one-on-one -on -one and do things like that, which they do do often, but they mainly play team ball. This team moves the ball, everybody gets theirs. They're really unselfish. Jalen Williams has even said he doesn't mind being the third guy. All he wants to do is win. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about how good Jalen Williams really is. Do you think he should be an all-star? Because putting up these types of numbers on a team that's winning as much as the Oklahoma City Thunder, there is a decent case for it. If Oklahoma City somehow goes and wins the title this year or even makes a finals run, it's probably going to be more justifiable next season for them to have three all-stars, especially if they're ripping off another 50, 55, 60 win, 65 win season. Things could really get scary. That's when you have to give 
these guys pred it even though they're scoring 18 to 20 at night. It's on insane efficiency and they're doing it in winning fashion. So let me know in the comments how much credit you guys think these players really deserve like Jalen Williams who's absolutely crushing in his, in his role right now. 44% from three is no joke. Thank you guys for watching.